I'm Sarah Underwood. Hi everybody, I'm Frank Malico. First tragedy in the Boston Fire Department. Let's get right out to Fox 25's Diana Rocco, live at the scene of that fire truck crash at Mission Hill. Diana? Well, Frank and Sarah, this has been a very sad day for the city of Boston and the Boston Fire Department as the investigation into how this all happened now gets underway tonight. We're going to take you to live pictures of the scene. You can see it is still very active here. And what we know tonight is that Ladder 26 had just been cleared from a medical call. They were on their way back to the station when something went terribly wrong. But well, tonight we ask the people of Boston to stand with us as you always have. Pray for the Kelly family. Tragedy has struck the Boston Fire Department, this time in an unexpected and sudden accident. It claimed the life of 30-year veteran, 52-year-old Lieutenant Kevin Kelly. Three other firefighters were also injured. Today we lost one of the most senior fire lieutenants on the Boston Fire Department. Kevin was a true veteran who served the city with distinction. Lieutenant Kevin Kelly was the passenger in Ladder 26. They had just been cleared from a medical call at 63 Parker Hill Avenue, a senior housing complex. They were heading down Parker Hill, a steep and treacherous hill, to Huntington Avenue when they couldn't stop. The ladder truck went down the hill across Huntington Avenue, uh, hit two parked cars, and then went into the Mission Main uh, housing complex. The truck crashed right into an early childhood learning center in the Mission Main housing complex on Huntington Avenue. Four children and eight adults inside the building were taken to the hospital. They were um, trying to get some, uh, somebody out of the uh, accident, um, out of the truck. And then they had them wrapped in a uh, stretcher and they put them in the ambulance. Onlookers watched in horror. Firefighters lined the street as emergency crews pulled the lieutenant's body from the ladder truck he spent most of his career in. It's terrible. It's a terrible thing to happen. Now questions are being asked about speed and how one of the biggest trucks the city owns could have barreled through two parked cars and into a building, claiming one life and putting dozens in jeopardy, something investigators are now looking into. And so far tonight, police are not commenting on this very active investigation. One firefighter remains in the hospital in serious condition. The 12 others taken to the hospital, the four children and eight adults are going to be okay. We're live in Boston tonight. I'm Diana Rocco, Fox 25 News.